Hey guys, it's me, Zell, and we are here with the next episode of Moon Knight, which I'm super excited about because I've been enjoying this show a lot and I'm always anticipating the next episode, so I'm ready for today. Uh, the episode is titled, titled The Friendly Type, which my <laughs> gut instinct is going to like, considering the friendly type for one of the friendly gods. I don't think it's probably going to be that, but that's what I naturally gravitated towards. But um, I've been having a lot of fun uh, with Steven and Mark playing off each other. So I'm I'm excited, though, to get to know a little on a deeper level and see the growth with Steven, but also Mark, because he's clearly, you know, we are we recently discovered stuck feeling stuck to obviously having to accomplish this goal for I'm spacing the god's name, but the god he is the avatar for, the the vengeance god. Um, he is feeling like he has to do that, but not only that, he is feeling a threat against the woman he loves, his wife. Um, so he's trying to distance himself, trying to from her, for her protection, which she doesn't, I don't obviously think she clearly knows what he's up to. So we're going to continue on this journey. It's been great. Um, and with that, let's just get to it. I'm happy to be going home. Oh, so she's from Egypt. That donkey sound sounded, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, the donkey sounded a bit like a Tuscan Raider. Threw me off a second. I'm deceived. Why didn't you drive a car, dude? <laughs> well, well, well. Already running? Oh, does he have Harrow's people chasing? <gasps> dude, whoa. Yeah, they do seem like they're part of a dance troupe, don't they? <laughs> He just smacked the back of him. Yeah, let's announce ourselves before we throw our knife. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. So now we're seeing Mark's perspective. That guy's like, I want my money. Oh, poor guy. He's like, I'm just trying to give you a ride, dude. You think they're actually in Egypt? Mark, Mark. There's another reflective surface. Ah, oh, crap. Steven, I understand what you're trying to do, but... Oh, Steven did that. Steven, what did you do? I swear that wasn't me. Then who was it? Ah! Who was it? Take him to the ledge. Was it Konshu? You talk. Where's Harold? Praise on it. Okay. No! I thought he'd talk. I didn't do any of this. Me neither. Listen, if you go Does he really think Steven would be capable of that? And they'll imprison me in stone. Oh. How does it sound so bad to me? <laughs> I was gonna it's say. Unfair against Harrow without the protection of my healing armor. All right, so what? Fair. You have any good ideas? I have a bad one. I like that they play him anti-healer. Oh no, you didn't make a storm, did you? Signal they can't ignore. Oh my. An eclipse? Keep digging! No matter what happens, keep digging! Oh, that does take a lot of work. They gotta dig. Stop. All case against Arrow must be indisputable. I think Steven will be the one to Aren't talk then. Away? So the gods have avatars all around the world then? Aren't they 
place where they saw it. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. He knows these stuff. And who are you? I'm Jatsil, avatar of Hathor. Okay. Goddess of music and love. Cool. Surely Konshu mentioned her. Uh oh. The other gods aren't really his favorite topic. She says it was not so long ago Konshu enjoyed Hathor's melodies. As far as I know, the only melody Concha enjoys is the sound of pain. Sounds like there was romance. Oh, they're all sitting in front of their... That's cool. Return from the opulence of the overboard before you lose this realm. The avatars that remain here are simply meant to observe. Oh, wow. Long ago. The charges? Conspiracy to release Amit! That's oh, wow. Let us summon the accused. They're literally summoning him. There is. You know exactly why we are here. I must admit, I do not. Man, he's doing good acting to display that but speak, discomfort. Old master, to, this is a man who literally does not know his own name. <clears throat> he has a marriage certificate under the name Mark Speck. Employment records under the name oh. Stephen Grant. I've seen I'm feeling his see pain. We will not tolerate violence in this chamber. Ooh. This is a deeply troubled man. Can't you? Don't get manipulated by him. Um, I'm unwell. I'm not the one on trial here. He is. This is about how dangerous he is, if you would just listen for a second. He has committed no offense. This matter is concluded. Ah! Ah! They can't see things actively happening? Hello? They don't have powers of mind reading or anything? Ah, uh, she might help, because I think she sees that. Find Senfu sarcophagus and you'll find your tomb. Okay, how am I supposed to do that? The sarcophagus was stolen and sold on the black market. Now I think he knows where to go. He's like, hmm, I know who does that. Oh, jousting. I think, or something else. Oh, there. No, that's something else. Such a delight to see you. Hey, you too. How have you been? Good. Thank you for having us over on such short notice. I hope you understand this is more. He's like, is a handshake coming? Awkward. I like, yeah, the reflection. Right now, there we go. Now? He's. What now is you give me the body Thank and you piss off. It's not going to be while I'm in prison. Do you want a bloodbath? Oh, huh? Stephen. Right, All right. I'll take that first piece and fold it over the middle piece. This one. Yes, that one. Wait a second. Now, if you match those stars up with the other piece over there and put it all together, it should make a star. Hey, what are you doing? Oh. Whoa, real quick. And don't stop. Get on your knees. Okay. Oh. You don't understand. We're trying to save many lives. Hey. Oh, out. no. Take a look inside the sarcophagus. Get up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yep. Whatever they've told you, I'm sure I can offer you Settle something. for a clue when you can have the treasure. Anton. Anton, don't listen to this man. He's trying to stop us from reaching... Please do it. Summon the suit. Uh oh. Give them what they deserve. Oh no. Uh, just so quickly falling into his schemes. What are you waiting for? Ah, it's just a taste of the godly power of I offer. You just freaking destroyed it, the whole. Rip friend. Oh, that moon shape. That's cool. Cool. Whoa. Okay, girl. Dude. Is he just taking those bullets straight up, or is it? It's not bulletproof. He uh, collected them and threw them back. Oh my gosh. Right in the neck hole. Stop it, stop it. 
Oh, other moon, Mr. Knight coming out. What else is he supposed to do, Steven? Can survive full on impaling. Oh my gosh. Nice. Oh snap. Uh oh. Uh oh. Extra adrenaline kicks in. He outran a horse. Fragments. Let Steven out. He understands all of this. I really think it's worth giving him a shot. I summon the gods, you summon the worm. <laughs> he won't return the body. My God, I don't have time. Wow. Yeah, it's really hard to ask somebody to... What are you doing? Cheers, thanks a lot. Right. How bizarre would that be? Good job, freaking Oscar. Egyptians invented modern navigation. <laughs> not, not landmarks in the desert. He's so like so, awkward sometimes. To get about using the sun. It's probably so hard, for, interesting for her, you know. So what do we do with it? Probably a master sure. in the sky. Pinpricks there. That's a constellation. We should be able to That's cool. That's a cool shot. Right? Just, just gonna leave your car lights on. Bye bye, battery. That's amazing. Can turn back the night sky. It will come at a cost. And I cannot do it alone. Uh, come at a cost? Like, uh. When the gods imprison me. Yeah, I was gonna say. I was gonna say, they're gonna, they don't like you messing with the sky. Do what I do. She's attracted to the suit. Whoa. I hope no one else is seeing this. Oh, well, all right. Yeah, you're freaking tripping people out, bro. Dude. They reacted real quick to imprison him. No more suits. know why he's walking on glass, do we? Your torment forced me. I owe my victory to you. All right. So I guess uh Mark Steven aren't the only ones who have issues. Not to mention, again, I this this episode was really busy. There's a lot of information that I wasn't able to keep track of, like, but I, the gist of it is, um, Layla clearly has, her father was an archeologist. She has connections to understand retrieving, uh, reclaiming artifacts and then selling them to make some money. So she is profiting off them to pay the bills, but then returning them to what these these guys like for museums or something like back to people that were raised there mark and steven are you know we it might look easy from the outside but from his part like that's like cutting a part of himself and tearing it away and exchanging things it's much difficult he oscar isaac acted this episode wonderfully especially the scene in the chamber where he was he was voicing Konshu and bringing out the emotion, that that pain, that like very interesting and, and very good um, portrayal of that. And even again, that clear 
exchange between going from Mark to Steven out in the desert um, towards the end there was really good. Like just like all of a sudden a shift. So he does that like seamlessly, like just doing those perspectives and those uh, personality changes really well. And also like obviously the body language and mannerism, like Mark is more tense and like stern. And then Steven's very like, oh, you know, like, you know, easy going and <laughs> uh, a goof. Um, but I like that you're seeing uh, you know, people be like, oh, what's the point of, but they're showing like, you know, Mark obviously has like the combat skills and the interrogation or all that, like, you know, in a pinch, good to have. But Mark Steven has his skills too with knowing to communicate and maybe uh, be more friendly to people when you need to, but also his knowledge of Egyptian information, uh, Egyptian artifacts and um, the gods and all that has been, very beneficial because he's done his own research so and then he knows french and then mark seems to know arabic so uh yeah it's it's so how how very separate entities they are but then that mystery of early on with this violence coming out that mark denied and then of course steven Mark blames Steven, but Steven would not be capable or even know how to do that. We saw Mark fighting him. Mark, Steven wouldn't all of a sudden know how. So the question is, is there a third personality that not even they are aware of? Or is this Khonshu that is somehow completely taking over the body without even the realization of both Mark and Steven? So that's where the question lies. Now, obviously, our Harlow, Haro, appears to obviously suggest and even the gods are saying how he's not great with his avatars is this what they're meaning is it just the them feeling tormented to accomplish his goals and they have their own moral um restrictions to that i'm not quite sure um so that's where the mystery is lying that i'm very curious about is this potentially mystery additional personality or just the fact that Kanshu is completely taking over um in which case it would show obviously the error and the issue with Kanchu in general, um, which it, it's an interesting way to look at it because it doesn't change the fact that what Arthur's doing trying to release Amit is, it doesn't make that be okay all of a sudden because Kanchu doesn't agree with it. It just shows that things aren't always as simple as they seem and that even Kanchu's actions are not great. <laughs> So it's not like it's either both of them have their faults, um, but obviously Amitz is at a much higher cost to a large amount of humanity. So yeah, uh, I loved the scene. I loved the the combat in it. Um, there's so much more I wish to delve into more detail about some things and some aspects of it felt rushed, like a movie almost. Um, but, you know, I, I know they're trying to fit a lot of story in with a new character. It's always a little tough to try to introduce a new character and all their aspects, but also tell the story, which has its own details. I almost wish that this show had more episodes, but I'm happy with what we're getting. It's, it's overall good. I'm pleased with. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited as usual for the next episode, and I hope you guys are, too. Thanks so much if you made it this far. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you appreciated my reaction and commentary. If you want to show your support, give that video a thumbs up. If you aren't already, you can hit that subscribe button if you want to be alerted when videos go live and see other content I'm put out. If you want to follow my other socials, I recommend Twitter just for updates and announcements on um, my schedule and if there's any delays in videos or reactions. And if you're like and interested in potential live content, I do live streaming on Twitch at twitch.tv slash zell, X-E-L-L-L-E. Check it out. I mostly um, do just chatting. I do a variety of games. I can't even pinpoint one because it changes all the time, but, and sometimes random music streams. So if you want to support over there and curious, check it out. You can always ask questions there too, and I will answer them accordingly. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching and being here, and I will see you on the next one.